In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a Holter recording using the Wireless Vet Scout Recorder. There are two ways to record a Holter, using the Cardio Explorer software or without any software via mobile use. To record a Holter using Cardio Explorer software, first make sure that any previous recordings have been downloaded from the recorder. To do this, plug the USB cable into the recorder, then plug the USB cable into the computer. If there was a recording to be downloaded, the Download ECG button will appear at the bottom left of the screen. Select the appropriate MM card drive and click Download ECG. If this window appears, it means that the recording has not yet been assigned to a patient. Fill out the patient information and then click OK. Notice how the patient information was transferred to the recording. You'll also notice that this icon appeared after plugging the USB cable into the computer. Change the recording parameters here. If you're using Vet Scout, set the sampling rate to 150 Hz. Set the recording time from anywhere between 1 hour and 72 hours. The BT Online Time setting indicates how long the live stream is displayed in the online window here to the right. Minimizing the BT Online Time will help you save battery power. Setting it to zero minutes will allow telemetry users to see the live stream continuously. If you're programming the recorder for a Holter, we suggest to set the Bluetooth online time to 10 minutes. This will allow you to see the live stream for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the Bluetooth radio inside the recorder will shut down to save battery, and you will not be able to see the live stream in the online window anymore. The recorder, however, will continue to record the ECG, and you can send the patient home. With BT Wake Up disabled, you cannot reconnect to see the live stream. However, if you want to see the stream at some point, make sure that BT Wake Up is enabled. Now select an existing patient from the database, or create a new patient, and then transfer the patient information and recording settings into the recorder by clicking this icon at the top. Fill out the patient information and then click Save. Now you're ready to disconnect the USB cable and connect the recorder to your patient using the lead cables. If you haven't yet done so, now is the time to connect the lead cables to the electrode on the patient and then attach the cable to the recorder. Select your recorder now. The online window will open. Press Start and wait for the signal to stabilize. Once you have a good signal stream, you can close the online window and send the patient home. To record a Holter without using Cardio Explorer software, the firmware settings inside the recorder must be changed from Manual Start to Auto Start. Please contact Extronics and we will assist you.
After the firmware settings have been changed from manual start to auto start, field users without access to the software can begin a new halter. Place the electrodes on the patient using a sufficient amount of electrode gel. Then, plug the electrode cable into the recorder. This will automatically begin a new recording. You will hear a single beep followed by a continuous red blinking light, which indicates a recording is in progress. In the case that there is still a recording that has not yet been downloaded, you will hear a 10-second long beeping sound accompanied by a red warning light. For safety reasons, a new recording will not start automatically. In order to override the previous recording and begin a new one, wait 10 seconds for the warning beep to stop, then immediately tap twice on the recorder using two fingers. Here's a short demonstration. At any time during the recording, you can manually set an event marker. To do this, tap once on the recorder. You will hear a single beep indicating the marker was set. The recording will end when you disconnect the ECG cable from the recorder or whenever the battery is depleted. Note that the recording time available depends on how long the recorder was originally programmed. In this final clip, we'll demonstrate how to transfer the recording from your computer to the software. First, plug the USB cable into the computer. Open the File Explorer window and double-click the Cardio Scout driver. Select All Files and then copy-paste the files into a local folder on your computer. Open Cardio Explorer again and then click the Import Recording button. Go to the folder where you saved the files, highlight the file, and then click Open. You're now ready to analyze the recording. This concludes the video on how to create a Holter recording using the VetScout recorder. If you have any questions regarding the software or devices used for recording a Holter, please call 866-744-3427 or email us at info at